Well, here is a look at the solar eclipse. It's 100% totality in Mexico. Folks across North and Central America filled towns and stadiums in the path of totality for an event that will not be visible in this region of Earth for another two decades. Fox 43's Danielle Miller he is live in Erie in northwestern Pennsylvania to take a look at what folks there saw and what she saw in that town in the total in the path of totality. Hey there, Evan. Yeah, we are live in Perry Square, which is in downtown Erie. And just a little bit ago, 30, 45 minutes ago, this place was packed. We had folks from across the state, across the country, even across the world, all here to see totality. And after some morning clouds and rain cleared, we got what we were looking for, a perfect view of the total solar eclipse. And we even ran into some people from South Central Pennsylvania who made the drive. Here's what they had to say. It was just really cool. I mean, to go from total daylight to total darkness and back to daylight in the middle of the day and it got cold. It was just, it was really something to experience. It took a lot of convincing my dad. My dad's like, why are we just going to stare at the sun for a few minutes? But then right as he started to see it, he's like, Cooper, thank you for convincing me. So was it worth the drive? Yeah, it was worth like the, the two hour drive. Cooper is right. It was completely worth the drive to come up here. The eclipse was incredible. Not only watching the partial eclipse all afternoon, but seeing totality, seeing the light just dim across the city, seeing the birds start to come out, feeling the chill of that temperature drop. It's really something that you need to experience for yourself. Of course, seeing the view uh, on your screen is also definitely worth it. So we had a lot of fun here in totality here in Erie, Evan. Things uh, were really fun and packed now. It has since cleared, so I do think traffic Traffic is going to look uh, pretty messy on Pennsylvania roads uh, leading up through the rest of the evening. Yeah, Daniel, I, I love that young man who had to convince his father who said, why do we why do we want to go stare at something for a couple of minutes? Um, but having <laughs> watched it here and you got to watch it in person there, I'm certain. I mean, as cool as it was to see on TV to know what was going to happen and actually experience it as you did had to be way more than what you anticipated, I would imagine. Yeah, it was very overwhelming because we were getting closer and closer to totality. The crowd started getting louder and louder, and then it hit. Everyone just erupted in cheers. The temperature actually dropped 15 degrees here in our location. We had some scientists here that had their thermometers, so they were able to let us know 15 degrees. So the hair on your arms kind of starts to stand up. There's seagulls here. We're near Lake Erie. Those birds kind of started going a little bit crazy close to the sun as well. So definitely worth the experience. As you mentioned, 2044 is the next one for North America. So if you can, maybe a road trip out west to see that one would be pretty cool. Well, I'm glad you got to stare at something for a couple of minutes today. Daniel Miller live in Erie, Pennsylvania. Thank you so much. We'll check with you later.